What's up, you beautiful people? It's Harrison here, coming to you from the beautiful Boulder, Colorado on this lovely, snowy Thursday afternoon. One question you may ask yourself after having endured narcissistic abuse is, am I a narcissist? And if you're watching this video, it's very likely that the answer is no, because if there's one thing that is prevalent in all narcissists is that they do not have the introspective capability to ask themselves that kind of question. Narcissists feel no remorse for their behaviors, no matter how much they deceive you into thinking that they do have remorse. They feel no remorse and they will continue to feel no remorse long after the discard. However, this confusion that you experience after having endured narcissistic abuse is unjustified in many ways. I struggled with this a lot because there were many times where I could relate to my narcissist. There were times where I saw a vaguely human side to the narcissist. And I could relate to the narcissist. If there's one thing about narcissists, um, it's that they had to experience a lot of pain to become the kind of people that they are. A lot of it. And believe me, I've experienced some pain in my life as well. But the main difference between you and the narcissist is that the narcissist has a deep, dark desire to inflict the pain that they feel onto others. I try very hard to protect those in my life from the pain that I have endured in my life. It's part of what I do when I'm making these videos. But The narcissist wishes to destroy everyone around them. They want you to feel the same misery that they do. And I can tell you, it's not a fun place to be. It's not, it's maddening, it's insanity inducing. But you don't have to live that way. And the second that you realize that is the moment you can begin to truly heal. The thing about trauma is it can put your mind in a place where you no longer are. If you grew up in a, an abusive household, it's likely there are times where you're reminded of the abuse that you faced as a child and you almost sort of go back to your family's house. Maybe it's a certain smell. Maybe it's a certain song. Maybe it's a certain taste. There's always something that brings you back there. Um, the same thing goes for narcissism. Sometimes there will be moments where you are reminded of the narcissist and it will bring you back into that trauma induced dissociative state. And in the midst of that state, you completely forget who you are. I know that happened to me. 
you have a major identity crisis in the midst of narcissistic abuse. I spent weeks plagued by this delusion that I was a horrible person and I would continuously text people and tell them how much I apologized for being the rotten person that I am and I would apologize to women I was dating um, for how badly I treated them and they would all respond and say, Harrison, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you okay? And I realized how much of an impact that narcissistic abuse can have on your sense of identity. It can confuse your own perception of yourself so much that you begin to convince yourself that you're evil and that you deserve to die a slow, painful death. But the moment you can begin to acknowledge the good qualities that you exude is the moment when you can truly begin to improve your life. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. This has been Harrison. Peace.